Hi and welcome back to MRTV. This here is the final production unit of the Pimax Crystal, Pimax's latest flagship device. And in this video, I'm going to check out Assetto Corsa Competizione because you absolutely wanted to check it out and I am checking this out on my 3080 PC. So that's going to be exciting. Absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all this goodness is coming up. Great to have you back on the channel. We're going to do a quick race in Germany, of course, and I'm going to drive the McLaren 720S. By the way, my name is Sebastian Ang, and if you are excited about virtual reality, you should absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. All right, with this out of the way, let's start the session. Woo, I am excited about this. I am truly excited about this. And here we are. Here we are. So let's start the race. Going double file. Going double file, okay. Yeah, I can tell you it looks incredible here. And it is running at 90 FPS. This is actually the second time that I'm recording this because the first time didn't work. <laughs> yep, so doing everything again. Working a lot here on this video, but here you are now. Because now I'm recording this on a second computer. So this makes all the difference. So 90 FPS here in VR. I hope you can see it as buttery smooth as I can see it. And here we go. Yes. So, this is This is truly exciting to be able to play um Assetto Corsa Competizione. Okay, now actually with now actually with 85 FPS. Yeah, that Oh, 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 oh. Wow, lots of lots of action going on here. <laughs> yeah, this is exciting because well, the crystal, it looks just so much better than the other headsets, right? It looks so much better then your Reverb G2, then your Index, of course. And also, as compared to the Aero, well, it has a bigger FOV, right? It has the same clarity, but it has simply more FOV. Like getting close to the Index. Not quite there yet, but, but getting there. And wow, to be able to have this kind of experience, it is incredible. And without a doubt, this is right now my 100% recommendation for simming, for sim racing and for sim flying. This right. is so, right. so good. This is an unbelievable experience. Right. So how did I make this happen? Why, why can it run so well on a 3080? Well, the, the great thing is you can also use OpenXR. You can use the Pimax OpenXR environment for this. And you would use Open Composite to force it into OpenXR and then you can do all kinds of great things. But I'm going to let you know down in the in the description of this video how to make this happen. And I'm on high details. Not everything is high, but lots of the details are high. Right? So this looks so super, super sharp. It is a dream. A seamless dream. Right. So I, I truly hope that this... Um oh. Uh-oh. I truly hope that this recording will look good. So I have a really, I set up a second computer just to <laughs> record this. So hope this works. Ooh, oh no, oh no. Yeah, it's, it's just so good. So I want to say thank you to Steve60 from the German MRTV Discord server who has taught me how to get 90 FPS in this game. So you have to do quite a little, quite a little, uh, quite a few things. Oops. Oh no. So there was the field. <laughs> but I was actually not driving not too bad, right? For making a video at the same time. This is pretty amazing. So can I recommend this to people who want to play Assetto Corsa Competizione? 
Yes, even with a 3080, it's amazing. Right? So if you have a 4090, oh my goodness, this you're going to have so much fun. This is the best experiences experience for sim racing right now. Should you upgrade from a Reverb G2? Yes, because you have the same clarity, but over the whole bigger FOV. And even more, even more clarity. And better colors and deep, perfect darks. If you go for a night race. If you own an Aero, well, if you own an Aero, you, you do know the clarity, but you have it on an index-like FOV. So yes, also. Also, you, do, you don't have any warping here. You don't have warping, you don't have distortions. It is so good. It is so good. And by the way, compared to the G2, something that I forgot. You have a better sweet spot, you have perfect edge test clarity. Yes. Coming from an index, this will be an upgrade in uh, yeah, in the visuals, right? These are the best visuals that you can get in VR right now. So yeah. Yeah. And uh, from an HTC Vive Pro too? Yes. Because, well, you have a better resolution, you have better, um, you have no glare. Yes. So how is it in terms of comfort? Yeah, it is fine. So yes, it is one kilogram on your head, for sure. Right, but it's very balanced. So yeah, it, it is as balanced as the index. So for me, it's fine. I've been in this for four hours straight. And I felt okay, I felt fine. So, what are the downsides of this headset? So, tracking, headset tracking is totally fine, but uh, controller tracking is just okay. Oh, this is the first time that I get this here. Oh, but still no. <laughs> yeah, so controller tracking is just okay. You can play your Half-Life Alex, but if you want to play Beat Saber on Expert Pro, no. The tracking will then not be good enough. Also, if you want to play like uh, first-person shooters competitively, I think probably no. If you want to do all these things with this headset, you can simply get the, the Lighthouse module. The Lighthouse module is going to come out in July, and then, well, you, will, you can make a Lighthouse headset out of this headset just by exchanging the, the faceplate. Oh, this was good. Which is... Yeah, which is uh, also a good idea. Well, it's so much fun to do this in this racing rig. By the way, if you want to know what kind of racing rig this is, look for MRTV racing rig. Yep, what other uh, downsides does this have? Well, this is running off battery right now, and the battery is good for six hours. So after six hours, you can exchange it. It's hot swappable with the second battery, which they put into the box. Right, so if you want to play longer than six hours without going to the toilet, well, then this, is, this might be a problem for you. But for me, honestly, this is not a problem because I do not go... Uh, I, I'm not in this for six hours straight, right? So for me, that is fine. And then the great thing is, uh, when I'm finished with VR, I don't even have to exchange the battery. When I'm out of, of VR, the, the battery that's inside here they will charge it automatically. So tomorrow I'm, go I'm gonna come back to a full battery again. So for me, I don't even feel that there's a battery inside here. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting better here. <laughs> even though I'm not in traffic, obviously, but yeah. Yeah, so again, for sim races, this is my pick. This is absolutely my recommendation. And the last time that I gave such a strong recommendation for a headset, for simming, there was the HP Reverb G2. So if you, if you trusted me that time, this time, this is again my call to arms. This is the headset to go for. It's great. Yes. So yeah, I, I believe that's it. As always, of course, if you decide to get this, I would be very grateful if you go through the MRTV affiliate link. I have affiliate links for all the VR headsets. So no matter if you get this or another one in the future, if my videos help you to make this decision, I would obviously be grateful if you would go through the MRTV affiliate link. 
you will get $20 discount. And if you order before 30th of June, you will get the DMAS headset, headphones for free, which are great, right? So it's worth it, get in line to get this. The demand will, well, definitely be more than what they can produce. So simply get in line. That is what I, what I think for this headset. Yeah, do let me know in the comment section what do you want me to play next. So you asked for Assetto Corsa Competizione. What do you want to see next? Another um, racing sim? Or do you want to see a flight sim now? Do you, please do let me know in the comment section. I do read all the comments, so go crazy in the comment section. Okay, that's everything to think for this video. Do you want to chat with me and the community about this? Then go to the MRTV Discord server the link down in the description of this video. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.